In this video, we're going to review how to create a transition peer, uh, actually how we use it. <clears throat> so for example, here, I will add a new bridge, right? But this new bridge, BR1, is going to be made actually of two units, in which one unit will be a pre-stress girder, maybe on the straight portion here of the alignment, and then it will be the same bridge with unit two in which we're going to place a steel gutter bridge. Okay, so let's do this. Bridge one, unit one. I select the alignment and I will just create that one. So I will place some supports, right? And just let's place three supports on that. Right? And so let's say I'm going to be placing three supports here, right? Just as a reference. And let's see, right here on the last support, this will be our transition pier because the concrete part of the bridge will finish here. And then I will start the steel part here. So let's create the deck and everything else regarding the bridge very quick. So I will just use the standard deck that we use. Nothing special here as we just using this example to illustrate the concept of that transition pier. I will do the same beam layout, um, right? And I'm gonna be all defaults. Let's do four beams. And so. Nothing special on that standard beams. Then I got my beam layout. And then to illustrate the concept, I'm going to place the skirters here, right? Um, I'm going to place uh, a big beam. Just so it's going to be, let's try to do a lip beam. And as I said, it's going to be a concrete beam. Let's place this 72 inches. <clears throat> right? So then I have bridge one. Right? Bridge one. And I'm just going to do the transition period right here. Anyway, so I got bridge one. Now, let's do the same bridge now. I will add a unit. Remember, our bridge is BR1. Uh, let me illustrate this on Explorer, right? So we got BR1 here, and unit one is made of a pre-stress girder. So now I'm not gonna do another beam. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create or add a new unit. So for that, add unit. It's gonna be unit two, right? And this will be now a steel girder at the end of the previous unit. So select it. He knows the beam, he knows the alignment. So that will do it. Right? So that's the new unit. And then I will create uh, new support lines. Right? So it will be two more supports. Right, and say this is the transition, so one and another one right here, and that will be the steel part of it. Right, so now I will do the layout one more time, but then from here to here. Oh, the quick deck first, so same deck. Right now, the uh, beam layout. <clears throat> and this is a let's do four beams two, three, minus three, and it's continuous. So, same layout, but this is going to be now uh, still one. Save. 
and then I'm going to place the beam and just as one more time to illustrate the concept I'm going to create uh, I'm going to use a uh, small beam a row shape standard and uh, let's use that one right and see what happens so now this is going to be the new beam but smaller now right see the difference <clears throat> so now I have two bridges right well actually I have one bridge with two units one concrete and one steel um, one more time you see on Explorer right we have one bridge but now it's made of two units now I could place regular piers but here is the special one right this is the special pier that is called the transition pier so I will go place pier it will be able to recognize the difference in depth right and then that one is concrete one is steel so let's place a standard just a standard pier to see so let's try this one select it uh, I'm gonna just keep by the cap by the deck with zero offset so let's do it so here accept it and then the beam seats or the will be different as it will accommodate to the difference in elevations there and when I do the bearings it will be able to see that as well so let's uh, place the pier again multi-column, drop column, no elevation constraints and we have it. So now you see being that accommodated, right? And then the bearings will be placed accordingly. So place a bearing I know this is extreme case right but this is how this is handled when we have that so it was able to recognize the difference in the depth I'm exaggerating here but this is how two different type of units of bridges are handling that